Welcome to this LabVolt tutorial about the computer-based instrumentation function. This video will show you the basic features of the data table, the last but not least instrument of this function. To get access to the data table and graph, click on the button here in the LVDAC menu. Now, let's take a look at the various options in this new window. Before going through all the settings, Note that the data table is a spreadsheet where you can select a box, write, delete, or add or remove a row just like a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. In fact, you can copy and paste values in the data table to an Excel spreadsheet without any problem. However, what is great about the data table is that you can record values provided by any other application directly here with the simple click of a button. Let's see how to do this. Please note that every setting you can find in these tabs has a corresponding icon here for quicker access. From left to right, you have Create a new spreadsheet, Open an existing table from your files, Save the current spreadsheet, Print the current spreadsheet, Record data in the table, Record settings, Add a row, Delete a row, Clear the data table, Graph Editor, Timer Settings, Start the Timer, Stop the Timer. This sounds like a lot of options to work with, but in fact, it remains quite simple to use. Let's do a complete example of what this data table can do. First, open the Record Settings by clicking on this button. Note that this window will not open until at least one other function in LVDAC is open. In this example, you can see here that I have the metering window already open. In the settings menu here, you will be able to select each function that is open in LVDAC. As you see, if I open the oscilloscope, you can see that I am now able to select it here in the menu. In this example, we will use only the metering window. Once selected, just go here and select which meter you want to add to the data table. Their numbers and names are exactly the same as in the metering window. In this case, meters 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, and 10 are used, so I will select only those. Once done, click OK. As you see, every meter now has a row in the data table. I've already connected an induction motor to a power supply, and those meters will track every important value of the motor, like the power, speed, torque, voltage and current used, and more. Let's start the motor. As you see, loads of values appear on these meters, and writing them down one by one would be time consuming. Since the data table is all set, just click here on the Record Data button and every value in these meters will be registered in the data table. From now on, you can save all the values in one click every time you need to. If I change the torque or input voltage for a certain test, I can save the value over and over again very quickly. This allows you to save a lot of time when it comes to writing down the results of an experiment. At any time, you can erase the whole data table just by clicking this button here. Previously, I mentioned that the data table has a timer. Just click on this button here to open it. You can set the length of time between each record here, in seconds, minutes, or hours, the number of records you want to take here, and then you can press OK. To start the timer, Click on the icon here. As you see, every second, the data table automatically records the value of each meter I have previously selected. You can stop the timer at any time by clicking here. Finally, the last important option in the data table is the graph editor. Click on this icon here to open it. At the right side of this new window, you get all the important settings of the graph editor. If you want to add a curve, 
just select the y-axis data from the list provided by the data table and the x-axis data you want to see on the graph and the curve will be added automatically. Various settings at the right side like colors and scaling can be used to customize the graph as you want it, so don't forget to take a look at them. This concludes the tutorial about the data table and graph.